Good evening, folks, and welcome to the horror. Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Horror Corner. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Gersh, and this week we are doing another tag video. This is the Horror Tag 2022, uh, and this was created by David's Horror. So if you guys do partake in this tag, make sure you use the hashtag Horror Tag 2022. And definitely check out David's Horror's channel. Uh, great guy, great channel. Are really creative, so definitely give him a sub. Uh, so David asks us ten questions all about horror, and uh, number one is, what are your earliest memories of horror and film? And for me, that would be Friday Thirteenth Part Two <laughs> from 1981. And uh, yeah, back then we had the old school TV where you actually had to turn the knob on the TV manually. <laughs> uh, so yeah, old school. And I turned the knob, and it was Friday the 13th Part 2. And it was the scene where uh, Alice opens the fridge in the kitchen. And uh, Pamela's boy, his head is sitting there on the shelf. Oh, man. I was just, like, horrified. I was like, oh, just like Alice is in the movie, you know. <laughs> but I was so, like, horrified but intrigued at the same time. It just... Gave me like a weird rush of being scared, you know, and that movie scared the crap out of me. I watched the rest of it, and uh, I just got hooked from there, you know. After that, I went back and watched the original film, and then I went and watched Halloween, and then Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and then the next thing you know, I'm a horror buff, you know. <laughs> uh, number two, favorite horror movie of all time. Now, anybody who knows me knows it's Halloween, the original classic from 1978 from John Carpenter. Uh, absolute classic in my eyes and uh, it's not only my favorite horror movie, it's my favorite movie of all time. That's how much I love it. Uh, number three, favorite sci-fi horror movie. Now for me that's easily going to be the original Alien from 1979. I think it's an absolute masterpiece, a five-star classic. Um, that just holds up so well to this day. It's still so scary and suspenseful. It's got that great slow burn tension. Um, man, it's amazing. The set design from uh, artist H.R. Geiger. Uh, he also designed the look of the creature, uh, which is just such an unusual and crazy look for a monster and, and just brilliant, you know. Uh, not only that, but the cast is amazing. Everyone in the cast is phenomenal. You've got great acting. Uh, and, of course, the great Sigourney Weaver as Ellen Ripley, one of the greatest heroines of horror. Uh, number four, what is your favorite subgenre of horror? That's tough because, you know, I like something from, like, every subgenre of horror, you know. Uh, so it's hard to pick just one, but... Uh, if I have to, I would say slasher. I guess I do love me a good slasher movie. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll have to go with slashers. Uh, number five, what is the goriest horror film? I'm sure a lot of people are going to say this one, and I'll have to agree, and that's Dead Alive. Uh, of course, directed by Peter Jackson. I don't think I've ever seen the movie quite as gory as that. I mean, the whole movie is just pure gore fest. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just absolutely insane, over the top, and to the point of being ridiculous. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go with Dead Alive. Uh, number six, what's a good underrated horror movie? Um, I am going to say Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde, definitely an underrated horror film uh, from Hammer Films. It's probably one of the more obscure Hammer movies, but uh, I absolutely love it. I think it's one of their best later films in the canon. Um, yeah, starring Ralph Bates and Martine Breswick. And uh, phenomenal movie, absolutely love it. You know, it kind of flips the gender on the uh, old classic Jekyll and Hyde story, and uh, Hammer did that sometimes. Um, but in this case, I think it works the best, you know. I think it just adds such a great element, making uh, the character of Dr. Jekyll 
turn into a woman, you know, <laughs> and, and uh, but both versions of the character are a murderous psychopath, and they're basically uh, Jack the Ripper, you know, whether he's a man or a woman, he's hacking up people, it's, it's uh, like a borderline slasher movie. Um, yeah, I really enjoy that one. Great performances uh, by both actors. Uh, number seven, what is your favorite um, horror anthology film? Now, for me, that's going to be Creep Show for sure. Absolutely love this movie. I love every story in this film. I, I just think it's the perfect anthology film. Absolute masterpiece. Uh, of course, the collaboration between Stephen King and the legendary George A. Romero. Uh, such a great cast with Leslie Nielsen, Ted Danson, uh, Adrian Barbeau, Hal Holbrook, uh, The Crate. That's such a great story. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love everything about it. <laughs> this movie is uh, absolutely brilliant. I love the use of color and the comic book style, like pages on the screen. You know, It's so great. Uh, next up, your favorite Stephen King adaption, even though he himself doesn't like it. It's The Shining from 1980. Absolutely love this movie. I don't care if Stephen King doesn't love it. <laughs> it's probably more of a Stanley Kubrick film, and it's all about his style of direction. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, the sense of claustrophobia that he creates with the Overlook Hotel. And of course, you got that insane performance from uh, Jack Nicholson in the role of Jack Torrance is just incredible and so memorable. Uh, it's just iconic and uh, also underrated is Shelley Duvall. She's absolutely fantastic in this film. You know, I don't think she gets enough credit. Uh, she is one of the great final girls of all time. Um, number nine is what is your favorite horror movie of the last ten years? Uh, for me, it's going to be A Quiet Place, uh, directed by John Krasinski, uh, starring John Krasinski and Emily Blunt, and uh, an absolutely fantastic cast. Uh, one of the reasons I love this movie so much is the acting is just top-notch. I mean, you cannot ask for better acting in a horror film, you know? Uh, us horror fans are kind of used to kind of like campy, you know, cheesy acting, but uh, this is top-notch oscar level acting uh brilliant and i do love the creature design it's definitely a creature fe feature film uh but this is one of my favorite creature features of all time uh quiet place um quiet place part two is very good as well i thought but yeah uh number 10 is who is your favorite horror icon that would be mr michael myers <laughs> Uh, my favorite horror icon of all time, definitely. It's just the mystique of him, the mystery of him, uh, you know. Uh, and a lot of it has to do with the way uh, Dr. Loomis describes the character of Michael Myers and the way John Carpenter uses the character in the original film, uh, how he's kind of hidden in the shadows in the background, this stalker, uh, this mysterious man in this white mask, and <laughs> he's so creepy and scary. And, uh, it's so powerful too, it's like he seems almost otherworldly, like, you know, is he the boogeyman like they've been talking about? Is he unstoppable? He's like this unstoppable force of nature, but yeah, that's what intrigues me so much about Michael Myers. Uh, so yes, that is the horror tag 2022. Now I'm going to tag some people. Uh, I'm going to tag the horror miser Monty G, uh, Jen and Christian from Jen's Reviews from the Grave. Uh, Full Moon 1973, uh, Horror Fan 88, and Hellhound from the Horror Metal Channel. <laughs> uh, so definitely check out David's Horrors video as well, uh, and check out his channel. Thank you for joining me, Sean Patrick Urshan, The Horror Corner. Tune in and stay scared. Folks, don't forget to grab your Sean Patrick Urshan gear and represent the Horror Corner.
Also, check out these awesome mugs we have. Perfect for your coffee. And definitely check out the Horror Hangout live stream t-shirt. And represent the legacy of the Horror Hangout. Check out the link in the description below of this video.